Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, there is nothing more heartwarming than seeing our furry friends get the love and warmth they deserve. Thanks to a family with really big hearts, Nanny from last week has found a lovely home. And this week, we are joined by Timmy, who was found in Dedurance, and Rachel Sylvester, founder and director of Sidewalk Specials, to tell us, is here to tell us why you should consider adopting him. Come, welcome back Hello. to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So, Nanny, last week, I'm so happy that she got adopted. Yes, really, by really the really surrogate mother. Mother what from um, from the show? Jonathan Kaplan's son. Yes, yes. We, I walked in with Nanny upstairs, and she was like, "Oh, we've been looking for an older rescue." I was like, "Well, funnily enough, I have one." And oh yeah, no, that so is wonderful. Serendipity, and she's having a brilliant life now. Is she having a great time? She how, is. how often do you follow in with all of the the dogs that with get all adopted? Of them. With all of them, we try to do. We have tried to film the rescues so people can see where the dogs come from, yeah. why we go to the townships to help, um, and then we go through and film the updates and people are like cleaning the houses we're like we're just honestly just filming the dog yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so with all of them but yeah she's doing really well so now tell us about timmy where was timmy found uh, timmy was also did once yeah actually a similar road to where we got nanny from um after our sterilization drive there we were going back to find the tvt dogs yeah. which is a form of cancer dogs can have and oh, we wow. had the tags from about 20 dogs that had the cancer um so we're going to meet those dogs chat to the families um, and this little guy was being treated not so nicely when we were there. Really? What conditions were, were, did you find him in? Uh, he was just, you know, it's, it's more like it's their body language with dogs. He was terrified. Oh. Um, you can see, he was just like absolute oh, freeze. Baby. And I just, I just asked the owner, I was, you know, do you want the dog? Do you actually want the dog? And she, she was happy to have him to go. So he just joined our ride and came back to Cape Town with us. Oh. No shame. He's so beautiful. How he old is. is he? He's about two and a half months. Yeah. So he's going to be a collie-sized kind of dog when he's fully grown. When he gets happy, his tail does start wagging and stuff. Yeah. But at the moment, if anything changes, he just freezes again. Now, why the focus around Dedorns in particular? Um, we before Dedorns, we were working through Witsenburg, sort of the, around the Tilbach area, Prince Alfred Hamlet, and I'd heard about a lady in Dedorns who was doing like hot dog stands and trying to raise money to fund sterilizations. Oh, wow. If you hear a story like that, you think, well, it's got to be a reason. Mm. Um, so I took Aaron Jakovsky, a very good photographer with me, and we went in to see Didons and what's the problem. And we were, it was quite overwhelmingly obvious there's a massive problem there. There's no, there's a satellite clinic that does its best, but there's yeah. no actual resident vet. There's no funding. There's no active sterilizing rescue there. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like we did 400, like, you know, last time yeah. we went there, we could do 4,000 more. Wow. So we just went through, we're talking to people, and this time it was nice. It's the first time we went in, like, hi, I want to sterilize your pets. The suspicion was like, uh-huh, why? And yeah. how much? And we were like, no, free, like, we'll, we'll raise it. You just wow. give us your pets. Um, and this time people were like, when are you back? When are you back? I want my, this one sterilized. I want that one sterilized. Yeah waving their vet cards at us, like, look Shame. how healthy my dog is. And it was such a positive. I mean, I love going there. It sounds yeah. crazy, but I absolutely love going there. I, always, I feel so positive because people want to help their animals. Yeah. You're not fighting with them. You're saying, can we help? And they're saying, what do you want us yeah. to Like, anything you want us to do, we'll do it. I say this to you every week, but I think you do such amazing work. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. And let's hope that Timmy gets adopted. Hey, I baby. I think so, hey? Oh, so, so, so sweet. Thank you so much for being on the pleasure. show. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having us. <laughs> They're cute, they're cuddly, and they're TV stars. Baxter and Donut, the adorably fluffy four-legged members of the Afternoon Express family, are sharing their daily adventures on social media. To see what Baxter and Donut get up to behind the scenes, follow the adventures of Baxter and the adventures of Donut on Instagram.